<laughs> nice to win the first game of the season. I don't really know to be honest. The second game there, we're about to do it, so this is the, the substitute room. Obviously, Slatter. yeah, we've seen uh, Prime Slatter. Like. <laughs> Cole was struggling a bit in the first half, so I knew I had to be ready, and then Gaffer's called me on at half time, and then the lads have worked really well in the second half. We've got a massive win, first game of the season. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> three centre halves, it's always tough when you play up there, so I think me, Carlos, Philo. Really did well pressing from the front and obviously we ended up getting two goals in the second half winning the game. I honestly thought when I got there I was I was gonna trip over the ball, it got kind of caught on my feet and then I've heard Carlos screaming me from the inside and then he's done well when it's come to him, the composure he showed after running around for 90 minutes and then chopping two people and sticking it in from there. It's a great finish from him. Obviously everyone's buzzing now. <laughs> How do you feel, Carlos, after I feel, this win? I feel great, great. Three points away from home. Nothing better. Go on. Last minute goal. Ooh. It's like deja vu. Shopsy. Seen that last year. Yeah, it was away on the way. Uh, well, um, I saw Liam running through. Um, he did really, really well to get on the ball. Um, and then I saw the gap and I just had to run, even though it felt long. <laughs> and he did really well to actually find me Shop in the box Siri. and yeah faith in his ability yeah that's all it is yeah as long as he comes off we don't mind yeah they play a lot of diags and with the 352 so we knew it was going to be important and after the first 10 15 minutes where they were on top I thought we dealt with them quite well. We reached our shape and you know it was all about coming here and getting the three points mm -hmm. and he worked for us today. How do you feel the last ten? It was tough. We knew coming here it was gonna be a tough game. But Absolutely. We believe in ourselves. You know, I think last year we would have probably lost that game after going one nil down, but we believe in ourselves and we go to every game trying to win. It's a great feeling scoring. <laughs> Yeah, it was an excellent performance from us today. You know, we gave um, Cheltenham a lot of respect. We changed their formation because we knew that uh, their home performances last year uh, deserved that. And uh, they got to the, the playoffs last year and uh, competed well. And we knew it would be a difficult afternoon for us. But um, the way that we played, we passed the ball, we coped with the threat that uh, you know, Cheltenham were going to have. They have long throws, they have corner kicks. They have uh, a bit of invention in the middle of the park as well, and uh, I think that uh, how we dealt with that over the afternoon was, you know, fantastic. To lose the goal when we did was against the run of play, and uh, they, you know, got a head start in the game. But I thought that um, the way we passed the ball, the way we created chances, you know, Phillips stopped and could have scored in the first half, Gomez as well, and throughout the afternoon. Um, we had 14 players that uh, played ever so well. We got a justified penalty kick uh, in the second half, and then we scored a fantastic goal at the end through Carlos Gomez. You know, I think that uh, the play up leading up to it uh, was was brilliant. And uh, you know, McIlinden came on at half time and was outstanding. He stretched the game. He caused the Cheltenham back three a lot of trouble all afternoon, and uh, probably should have scored as well. I'm trying to change the mindset of this football club and uh, the mindset is that um, we're trying to be not little old Morecambe, we're trying to be Morecambe Football Club and uh, we're trying to be bigger and better than, than we ever have been and uh, that's the mindset I've got to change with a lot of people at this football club going forward and uh, I think that the supporters want that, they want change, they want us to feel that we can compete against other teams, financially we'll never compete, uh, you know, that is... Uh, the way it is but uh, on the field you've got 11 players against 11 and we'll compete we had 14 players here today that competed for every ball they didn't have many better players than we did today and uh, I think that's testimony to the way that we played I've got a huge amount of respect for Cheltenham because of what they did last year and what players they've got on their squad this year and uh, you just have to look at the, the bench that they had they've got Ruben Reid who I had at Plymouth they've got Matty Blair um, so they've got a fantastic array of players throughout the squad, but uh, we've won here today and deservedly so. Yeah.